Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we'll create a dynamic record page layout template in Salesforce, which will have the option to expand and collapse the sidebars. So before we start, let me show you what uh, we are thinking of building. So by default, if you navigate to the service console in Salesforce, you see something kind of this layout. So what is this is like you have a main region in the middle, then you have the left region and you have the right region. Uh, now, sometimes what happens is like agents wants to uh, expand the main screen. Uh, let's say they want to go to charter. They want it to be a bigger screen. But Salesforce by default does not provide any dynamic layout like expanding, collapsing and uh, external features. But uh, using customization, we can develop something like that. I'll show you the final product. What we will have so uh, we have the left section we have the main region and we have the right section so we have i have developed this uh, component on click of this uh, we can collapse uh, the sidebars and the main region will expand so uh, and if i want to uh, expand them again uh, we can do that just on the click so this is what we are going to develop we'll see how we can do that in salesforce so let me go back to my slides and let's start so starting with the basics as always so firstly we'll discuss what are what is standard versus custom layouts in salesforce so while you are creating a new uh, lightning app builder page you have an option to select a template you could either select a standard or a custom template so this is what op uh, this is the option that you get so within custom you will have some custom templates and uh, above it is the standard kind of templates for example one region two region three region right uh, uh, uh the custom template you will have to create and we will see the demo uh shortly for that uh, so every standard lightning page is associated with a default template component which defines the page regions and what components the page includes so uh, we can create custom lightning page templates which will help to fit our business needs with the structures and components that we want to define for example like uh in the standard layout you want the main screen to be like 80 percent taking 80 percent of the area by default you can create your custom template and do that so currently custom templates are only supported through aura components and are only supported for record pages app pages and home pages so this is like the screen uh now what are the steps to create a new dynamic record page template so uh we have to build a template structure first like we'll have to define how many components we'll have uh, on the screen. Like uh, in my case, it will be three. But if you want, you can have a one region or you can have two region. That's up to your need. Then we'll configure the template regions and components in the design resource. Within the Aura components, we have a design file. So we'll configure that. And then finally, we'll create a new record page with that template. Uh, we can also add a image to that template. Um, if I go back, uh, so you, here, if we add an image, you will see that image shown on this screen. So let me go to the code and let me let us discuss uh, the code. So I've created this uh, pay, uh, uh, or a component dynamic layout. So within the dynamic layout, what I've done is I've defined three components. Basically, I need three regions on my page. That is the left region, the main region and the right region. Uh, the type is aura dot component uh and then like i've defined two variables uh, which will uh keep the track whether the uh, left region was collapsed or the right region was collapsed uh then i and i've defined a slds grid within that grid i have multiple divs so in the first div uh we'll have the left region right and it will take the three out of 12 uh size then we have a lightning button icon so this will uh, represent our uh uh, collapsible ex expandable icon uh, then we have the main region which will take 6 out of 12 uh, our right region and then we have that uh, uh, above it we have the button icon which will uh, collapse and expand the right region so right region is also taking 3 out of 12 space now whenever you click on the button icon uh, I have written a JavaScript code what it will do is firstly it will um, make the left region collapsed as false for example you clicked on the ref left region button icon then uh, we'll apply the high display class on the left region diff high display is nothing just we are uh, doing displays equals to none and then we are calling the helper uh, method let me go to the helper class 
so uh, I'm just checking if the left region is not collapsed and right region is not collapsed. We need to add uh, SLDS 6.5.12 to the main region diff. Otherwise, we can remove the uh, SLDS 6.5.12 uh, class. So uh, once we remove it, remove this, uh, the main region will um, expand automatically and take the viewport height. So this is the power of SLDS classes. And then we have some CSS through, I'm um, playing through the CSS uh, so that like I, we can manipulate the icon. So if I go back and uh, so now let me go to the setup and let me show you how to create a new record page. So on the quick find, you need to search for app builder and click on lightning app builder. One more thing I forgot to tell you is like, uh, since we have implemented lightning record pay, record home template. So this uh, template will only be available for record pages. Now uh, you will be on this screen, uh, lightning app builder, click on new. Once you click on uh, new, you will have an option to select the templates or and the name the Okay, so now you have an option to create an app page, home page, or, or either a record page. So I'll select record page. I'll select the label, let's say, uh, case object. I'll select the object as case. Then I have an option to uh, select the standard template, or I can select my custom template with the name dynamic layout. And if I click on done, I'll have my dynamic layout. I can drag and drop uh, the components here and like, so this is pretty much customizable and this is like a really cool feature uh, that you can uh, add on to your uh, Salesforce org. So uh, we can do much more uh, than just collapsing and expanding the sidebars. So do subscribe to my channel for uh, more such videos. I'll create more videos on that. And uh, thanks everyone for watching this video. Uh, I'll meet you in the next video.